Hello, and welcome to my new tutorial video of Adobe Illustrator. In this video we will be learning how to create editable 3D isometric text effect that can be very useful for creating creative artworks, and it's very easy to customize. So follow my steps and let's get started. Open Adobe Illustrator and select Type Tool or press T for shortcut. Scale the font as large as you want. Type anything. Change the font if you want. Here I'm using a font named Provocali. It's a bold font which looks very nice. You can download it for free. Link is in the description. Now, go to Window and select and enable Appearance option. I have already enabled the Appearance tab. Now inside the Appearance box, click on Characters. There is two options. One is Stroke and other one is Fill Color. Click on Fill Color and change the color to No Color. Go back to Appearance tab. And down there click on Fill Color. Change the color to gray or 50% black. Now click on Effects icon and go to 3D, then click on Rotate. Now inside position, go down and select Isometric Left option. Now inside Appearance box, just click or drag the fill color to make a duplicate layer. Now select the duplicate layer and change the color to 100% black. And click on the left side arrow to open the effects we have applied previously. Click on 3D and change the position to Isometric Top. Now again click on FX. Go to Distort and Transform, and select Transform. Now in the Move section, adjust the horizontal and vertical sliders to move the object. Remember, you have to adjust the sliders as much as the font needs, so adjust it manually. Now make another copy of the layer that we just have modified. Click on the arrow and click on Transform. Just invert the numbers of the Move section. For example, the horizontal slider is minus 30. Just change it to 30 and the vertical slider 60 to minus 60. Click on Preview and click OK. Now change the color of the layer to 10% black or close to white. I have used these colors just to show you but you can change any layer color for different artworks whenever you want. For background, click on Rectangle Tool and drag over the whole artboard. Customize the color if you want. Then right-click and go to Arrange and select Send to Back. This will send the selected object to right behind all the objects. Press Ctrl or Command 2 or go to Object, Lock and lock the selected object. For scaling the text effect, we need to change a setting. Just go to Edit, Preference, and select General. Just mark and enable the Scale Stroke and Effects option. I have already enabled it before. The effect is ready, but I am also going to show you how we can customize or change the direction of the text. It's very easy, just follow these simple steps. Make a copy by holding Alt key and select the object and go to Appearance tab. There is three layers we just made before. We just need to change the directions and invert the number. Here is how we can do that. First of all just click on the top layer eye icon to check which object we have selected. Drop down the arrow and click on 3D Rotate. Go to Option and change it to Isometric Right. Now click on second layer arrow and select 3D Rotate. 
invert the perspectives like I am doing. and click OK. Now go to Transform Effect. In the Move section, just invert the horizontal number. And click OK. Now, repeat this changes to the third layer again. It's done. You can customize the text or change any color for different artworks. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more new videos and updates. Ask anything in the comments section and give a thumbs up if you like the video. Thanks for watching.